What up, what up, Wheatfield? What up, y'all? It's Wheat. What it do? Welcome back to the Wheatfield, y'all. Welcome to you. If you're new, hey. Hey, welcome to you, too. Welcome to the Wheatfield. My name is La, La T, and I'm a channel messenger, and I message with the big three, the Alpha, the Omega, the infinite intelligence, the word, yes, is breathing on the breath of life, is moving, it is animating, it is resurrected in me, yes, and we just bring in messages from the spirit as we have been called forth to do so. And we pray you receive it, we pray you hear it. If you get it and it resonate, take it. If it don't, don't take it. There's like seven billion of us and every one of these readings ain't just for each one of us specifically. I need to get that gloss on while that's settling in just for a minute. Um today my energy is a little thick. I feel clouded by the new moon energy, and uh, it might be a little testimonial. I don't know. It might be mixed in. Y'all know how I go. This is a Tears We Throw show where you show up, never know what you're going to get. This is where testimony meets to roll, beloved. It is. Because uh, we be going through ish. We in the collective, we the we, we are. And if it's happening to me, then it's very likely that it's happening to somebody else too. We, it is. Like, because we all be going through similar ish. And I'm playing some lo fi music. It's a chill mix from Amazon. Just uh, to put that out there. I don't know how people be doing it so that they don't get copywritten or a copyright claim. I haven't had anybody give me a restriction. I think maybe. Nope. No request to take down anything. But still, just to put it out there, because we don't we don't want to get that far. Because we growing. What up, y'all? We growing. The weed field is growing, y'all. We on, we on our way to 5K. Let's get these shares and the thumbs up and the comments. I appreciate every one of you, just like you were my first ones and twos. Yes, but help us spread the message. Help us spread the love to those who might need these types of messages, these types of readings. Because you know this is not your average tarot show. It is just not, beloved. Oh no, oh no, we it's not your average. We try to do something that's edifying. Edifying that's on to self first and foremost, because we ain't gonna feed you shit we would need, okay? No. But um we wanna support the soul, the soul's growth while we are on our journey, um, discovering our purpose, having it revealed on to us. You know what I mean? We be going out on these whole adventures and stuff, this thing called life, you know. And we, we trying to figure out what is it we supposed to be doing? What are we supposed to be contributing? What has the, the most high sent us like that mission? You know what I mean? Why, why are we here? Well, we know we're here to learn and to experience creation. You know, the most high God, we pixels and pieces of it. And it gets to learn itself as you learn you. Learn itself as you learn you. Just by experiencing life, the consciousness through you, as you. Mm. Today, we're going to focus on the good, though. we focusing on the good. Transformation. Um, you might be going through some stuff, because transformation is tough. Transformation ain't easy. The the, the call of, of, of the chosen, huh, people be wanting it. Oh, I'm chosen, I'm chosen. Do you know what that means, though? Do you know what it means to be chosen for a, a, a specific purpose that's uh, significant to this spiritual battle that we in? Do you know that you are going to be tested, that you are going to be battle tested, that you are going to be uh, put up against some iron, iron shock sharpens iron. Is that what I was supposed to say? Thank you, beloved. Thank you to the Alpha and Omega. Let's give it up. What up? Hey, thank you so much for calling and resurrected me in this day. Thank you, Omega. Thank you for bringing me through the day. It's the beginning of it, pretty much. You know what I mean? But we're going to get through the end. We don't know what's going to happen, but you already know from the beginning to the end, from the end to the beginning, and we here in it, and we're going to give ourselves up to the unknown and the wisdom thereof. There you go. We the word. We called. We called, and we breathing. We resurrected, and we know that it's going to be, and we already got the victory. I'm just saying. No matter how it ends, we got the victory. It's done. It's going to be done because the word does not return to the most high in vain. It does not. It shall fulfill everything for which it was sent. 
But again, we don't know exactly what that is. We don't. It got to be revealed. And we got to be prepared. And that preparation is what I was speaking of. Iron sharpens iron, beloved. But we're going to focus on the good. Focusing on the good of it. All right, so, 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 so what's about it? Uh, what was old boy? Did? He was the, uh, the Buddha monk from uh, the Golden Child. Okay, remember when they had got to uh, Kathmandu or uh, something like that in Tibet? Or, and uh, the little dude, he was acting like he didn't have no legs. And he was trying to give Eddie Murphy the... Uh, right necklace that was going to protect him down the road, right? And he was telling him, no, I don't want this one. I want that one. And he was like, he said, he should picked him up or whatever. He noticed he had legs. He was like, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. This, just give me the one that I paid for. Or, but what did he say? He said, you got legs or something. Are you for the, he was like, so, 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 so what the bet? So what the bet? <laughs> That's all I keep seeing is like that part that says, so what the bet? So what the bet? It's like, you might be Look, this I might say something that's a little bit differently different. You stick around this place, you're going to hear it. I'm just saying. You might see some shit, too. It happens. It, you know, we getting used to it because when we see it, we still be thrown off a bit and be like, whoa, spirit. Okay, I seen you come through and, and put your stamp on it. You know what I mean? But uh, it's like sometimes you run into those people. That's like, you feel like they getting on your nerve. You feel like they just trying to scam you. They, 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 they pressuring you. They put, they pushing them buttons, beloved. But what they doing is preparing you. Focus on the good. So what of it? So, so what of it? Get through the end and he the only one that passed the test. I mean, like, he went through that series with the bridge and all them little things and, you know, become one with the water, become one with the water, and had to stand up there and think. Like, he put the water inside of him to flow and became it. And as he drank the water, then the fire went down. And he was able to grab that which he needed to slay the dragon at the end, the demon. I think it was kind of like representing the devil himself or just like a high level demon. So it's almost like he had to really think outside the box to get through the test. It wasn't what you would normally think it would be because most people would try to pour the water on the fire. But he was like, no, I'm going to become it. I'm going to put the water to flow inside of me. I got to get this book. It's called You Are the Universe. And the Most High is having me look at it, focus in on it. So I figure it's something in it for us. And then we're going to get into some prayer. We are spiritual, not religious at all. But we got to pray and we got to bring in the protection and get into alignment. So that, you know, the Most High can be in front of us and bring this here message. Because it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't on to me. I'm just the word that they said to say it to me. That's it. I'm just the vessel, the vehicle, the conduit for them to use to bring this message onto self first and foremost and onto you. So let's get this 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 text and I'll be right back. Give me a grace. Two, three seconds. Two, three seconds, beloved. Two, three. I'm just about there. We got it off the shelf. We building up a little library. We, we, we have a goal, you know, to have a library one of these days. A whole room full of books, you know what I mean? And just because, you know, this is knowledge, and knowledge is power. Thank you to the Most High God, the Alpha and Omega, that says you are the universe already, beloved. Deepak Chopper. And I, I don't know how to say their name. Minas looks like, yeah. Kafatas. Kafatas. But they got some letters, some MDs and some PhDs and stuff like that. They're supposed to make them credible. But everybody pretty much know Deepak Chopra, you know. Um, you are the universe. Discovering your cosmic self and why it matters. Discovering your cosmic self and why does it matter? Because you're here on a mission. You got a work to do. You are a belo beloved. Words sit in this now.
to do what you are instructed to do. Yes. You are a word sent in this now to do what you are instructed to do. The most high God called you. You are its word, beloved. And you have a code written in you, instructions. And you might be feeling called to do a certain thing, to go to a certain place. You may not understand why you're doing why you have journeyed that way, right? Um, made the decisions that you made. But it took you um, on the pathway, keeping you on the pathway to your destiny. You're going to run into some adversity, things that's going to ping pong off of you. It changes your direction and places you where you're supposed to be. It's going to come against you again like adversity, like people that's going to come against you. They're going to try to scam you. They're going to try to get you. They're going to betray you. They're going to hurt you. But all of it is to sharpen your iron, to strengthen you, to prepare you, to do what you were called to do. Thank you to the Most High God, to the Alpha and Omega for being here with me, for calling me, for giving me this degree. I thank you so much for giving me the courage to answer thee, for preparing me so that I may develop the courage to answer thee, to speak the words that you have given on to me. I thank you so much. Please allow me entrance into the holiest of holies, into your inner sanctuary. Please protect me. Please pro calm me. Comfort me. Stop the ruminating. I offer the ruminating up onto you. I put it in the God box that you have allocated in my spiritual space. Grow the box because I need to put way more things in it, Ashe. Help me to pull all of this residual energy up out of me, transmuting it so that it can fuel and rocket me up. I ask for you to receive it. I ask for you to receive it in your grace and I ask for you to bless it and I ask for you to give back onto me that which I need so that I may be edified in the spirit. Fill me up, beloved. Replenish me, my spiritual tools, that which I need in order to be successful, to meet the victory. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel the wine, I feel the staff, I feel preparedness ready to walk forward, needing something to stabilize me, to help me, to assist me. I thank you so much for filling me up in such a way that I overflow, that it goes out into your wheat field, that it meets the wheat on the other end that needs to receive it, and you bring them in and have them resonate, have them hear it, have their spiritual eyes open, their spiritual ears open, that they may hear, that they may see, that they may feel it in their heart, in their mind space, beloved, that they connect we, unity, and harmony. 13, 10, 13, 11, 11. Please guide me. Your word, moving on the breath. That which you have sent, beloved. Please guide me. Where you really came from. 1334. Where you really came from, beloved. Being connected to the cosmic mind is built into your nervous system. It's built in. You were born to see light and hear sounds. Those abilities can be traced to your nervous system. Specific areas will light up when music vibrates your eardrum and fireworks glow in your retina. But the cosmic mind has no specific location in the brain. How do we know that the cosmic connection is real or that it is doing anything for us? I say I know it's real because you carry the eight wonders of the world in your vessel. These two right here don't see anything. They see light. They pick up light. They discern it. Again, we hear vibrations, and we put it together as sound. We put up the visions. We make it in our mind. And as we see the same thing, you see me as a brown-skinned girl with dreadlocks. I got on a hoodie. If I only see light and so do you, then how do we see each other the same if it was not for the grand cosmic mind that connects us, that helps us discern it in the same way? Our vessels speak the same language. Many will have you believe that, that, that languages have been separated. That's not true, we. It's not. Here's how we know it's not true. 
there's diverse of tongues, yes, and the tongues have been split, but language is the same, and all of our vessels speak the same language. We know when it's cold. We know when it's raining. We know when you need comfort or when you're hungry, when you need to use the restroom. Your vessel communicates with you, and we all communicate the same way. It is a cosmic language, a vessel vehicle language that our bodies speak the same. We are all tethered to the same source, that which cannot be named. A skeptic might point out that the lives of countless millions of people contain misery, poverty, and violence. Even the most fortunate lifetime will be visited with accident and disasters along the way. The skeptic will ask, of what earthly use is your so-called cosmic connection if it can't relieve the difficulties of everyday existence? How do we learn? How do we sharpen the iron? How do we prepare ourselves for the battle that we're in? There is a greater purpose, even if we don't understand it. Ask for the Most High to reveal it on to you, that which it is you have come to do. It will speak to you in a way that's just for you. For our answer, we have to look deeper into the setup of mind, both individual and cosmic. We mentioned that some things can be changed while others cannot. In a third category belong things that may or may not be changeable. It may or may not be changeable. In fatalistic societies such as medieval Christian Europe, God was thought to be so powerful that the individual had little room to improve his lot in life. The present era, by contrast, is filled with aspirations. Yeah, I hear potential and consciousness. Possibilities are limitless. People seek not just self-improvement, but total transformation. And we said transformation. Focus on the good. When you're transforming, it don't always feel good, but you can focus on the good. What is the good when it don't feel good? That you're changing, that you're growing, that you're extending self that you are becoming your highest self. You are reaching a whole new level of potentiality. Becoming what you are called to be. It says, people seek not just self-improvement, but total transformation, which is why the notion of a conscious universe is taking hold right now with such force, a conscious universe universe and I just said pure potentiality consciousness the consciousness of the most high God experiences itself through the such a universe is constructed to promote the expansion of consciousness in the individual on that basis alone we can talk about change and how to achieve it thank you to the reading of your word blessed beloved We're getting out the psychic tarot. Please seal us with see new beginnings. Protect us. Your ashram. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. New beginnings in deception and envy. See that? 1911. We see we're going to experience deception and we're going to experience envy. We're going to experience jealousy in all the low level, um, low polarity happenings, I guess is the best way to say it. Those energies. because And they're made by the Most High God. Right? They are here. It is the contrast. It is the north and the south. The east and the west. The black and the white. The low and the high. It is the hot and the cold. It is the wet and the dry. It is every contrast that you can experience. You have high vibrational you empathy, sympathy. The same way that you have deception and envy. 
We have joy and we have jealousy. We have beauty and we have bitterness. It is the contrast of life and we get to choose which way we are going to polarize self. How are you going to polarize? Are you going to let these situations bring you down into a negative space? Or are you going to use it, transmute that energy and allow it to skyrocket you up to space? To the highest of the heights. New beginnings is based on your heart disposition. How are you going to polarize this heart, this mind space? Transmuting this energy in the solar plexus chakra, using the truth of it, focusing on the good. Sacral chakra, base chakra, third eye chakra, heart again. You are a piece of the universe. Are you consciously aware that you are a piece of the universe? Sacrificing the bullshit. Using it. To prepare you, to prepare you, to propel you, to lift you, to grow you, to sharpen you, to transform you. Mind, your heart. We talked about coming together in harmony. Despite this deception and envy, despite it. Facing our shadow selves, that duality, the contrast. The light and the dark. Can we harmonize it? Can you polarize self despite what comes against you? Can you see? Can you be rooted and grounded? Being creative. Using your energy, your sacred energy, your soul space, the kingdom space. Digging into truth. Balancing it out, judging righteously, letting go what no longer serves thee, and using that energy again to lift that heart space up. What are you going to speak? What words are going to come out? Because they definitely affect this new beginning. And it's just so funny that I see that the earth it has that blue ring around it because it almost feels like we call our world into existence see that mind that heart what that heart do you see how she's standing on a new beginning on top of the world but it is surrounded in that blue it's encapsulated in it it's encapsulated in what you speak and how you speak and the most high god gave me that staff when we prayed the wine to say that we are headed towards a new beginning, to walk forward, something that is going to help stabilize you, something that, that you are using to take action. It could protect you. It could stabilize. It, it, I mean, like, you can use it. It is a multi-purpose tool, just like your intellect, your consciousness. You can go see What did I say? What does your heart do? Rooted. Grounded. She, oh, I love the fact that her hair is like that, though. You know? Because it's an antenna to the universe. It is. It picks up signals. It communicates. Brings in information. It stores information. It feeds you. It holds memory, which is why when most of the time when women go through a tough thing, the first thing they want to do is cut their hair off, do a big chop. They want to get rid of that energy. They want to cut it off, cut the cord, essentially. That heart space is lit up. And in this, I see that deep, dark, like arboring, like pretty much, and it feels like root chakra. Heart space is grounded, is rooted, is knowingness. I feel she's encapsulated by light. And her light is so strong. And I feel multi-layers of light. Like a ring of light inside of a ring of light. Memories of love. Past. And I feel like this light is held in the hands of. Oh, we don't need 
see, that don't go that way. Something going the opposite way. Could be, I say. Yeah, going the opposite way. <laughs> Sailing off to calmer waters. And somebody's sitting on the edge. We got the kicker deck. We see mature woman and a privileged lady. Young and the old. We see great fortune to the privileged lady. I feel like you're trying to get something. Please guide me. distant horizon and we just saw the boat moving forward to calmer water but I feel like this is in the sky it's not only physical but it's spiritual and I feel like you raising yourself up to go to higher heights yeah look this could be kingdom it could be an elevated lifestyle because that's a huge house but this house always makes me feel like kingdom. It's something about a mature woman, though, that's affecting some sort of courtship or coming together. Please reveal unto me the mature woman. I heard mother of your foe. Mature woman. The mother of your foe. You want to look at it? Yeah. What shall we get? This right here. You want to read this? We see prosperity, harmony, journey. Journey. Prosperity. Harmony, we talked about harmony. We said waiting, discipline, exaggeration, the opposite sex. We talked about opposites. And look, I have shuffled these out in a pre-shuffle. It feels the same, but it's opposite, right? Two, one, to one, two. Shift, transformation, enthusiasm, enthusiasm. But you wanted me to say gratitude. Gratitude. And I was feeling, focusing on the good. Gratitude. Take a sip. Alpha, thank you. Oh, somebody's going to sip on something good. It's going to be nourishing. It's going to be a good. It's like a good sip. It almost felt like... It was more than sufficient. It was like drinking. Like, you know what I mean? Kind of like how I was feeling with Eddie Murphy when he had to drink the water to become the water. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When spirit wash. When spirit wash. The spirit wash. Wash my sins away. Oh, happy day. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, happy day. It taught me how. Look. God box energy, putting the sins in there, repenting and offering your whole self up as a recompense, all of you, everything, everything that you've been through, everything that you've learned, everything that you acquired, everything that you were, you are, and everything that you will be onto the most high God that made thee, that made everything. An ample opportunity related to your life's purpose is just around the corner. Take immediate action once it pops up, of course. A lovely partnership or an epic romance is also in the cards. That day you're waiting for will come. Maintain discipline. 
You're getting closer to your end goal. There's no need to overextend yourself. Guard your energy. Guard your energy to remain focused. It will pay off. It is a climb, not an elevator ride. Trust in you. Guard your energy against this person. Look, and the spirit is moving it. Guard yourself against this person. The person that you're in courtship with or you used to be that mother and that person. I feel both are fake, but I really feel fakeness on this person right here. She is not good for you. Not. Not good for you. Not good for you at all. She's the mother of your foe. The mother of somebody you used to be with that you are separated from. Or should be separating from. Maybe you are in a relationship and you don't know that the person that you're in a relationship with is just not good for you, beloved. Look. Look at that. Change. Optimism. Joy. Communication. Messages. Good news. Expression. And high vibes. Work with what you have. And it will get you places. It's going to get you places. Take you places. Count your blessings. And acknowledge your dear ones. You will find inspiration and figure out a way forward. You might also be getting some good news soon. Somebody getting some good news. From this mother, nope. You definitely high honor. And we see a pathway and a gift is coming. But here goes this. Again. And what did I say? She was associated with the false card. Death to this shit. Move away from her. She is associated with somebody that, that you don't even... Look, thief. Somebody that is coming against you. Iron sharpens iron, but you have to know what to do. And the spirit is saying, put an end to this shit. Whatever your relationship is with this person, Most High says it will behoove you to end it. This person. Again... Can't make it up. The person, the mother of the person that you are connected to is fake as fuck, we. Cards don't lie. And I trust my gift. I know what the most high God is saying on to me. I was the word and sent to tell you. This chick ain't no good for you. I don't know what kind of relationship y'all got. She might seem like she high honor, but I feel like that this is you. You are a high-ranking individual in the spirit. You have honor. Is this their person? Is this their dad? Is this somebody else? It's another person in the mix. I hear you have reputation. You definitely have reputation. It could be physical, but I definitely know it's spiritual as well. You are, these people have another person around them. Is it the foe's father? No. Is it a friend of the foe? Yes. And this person has reputation too, but I feel physical. Yeah, it's some concern. These people are concerned about something. Okay, so the person, yep, yeah, they have reputation too, but they have, they are honorable. And this mother might be concerned about the other person and what they might say. What did I say? The mother is concerned about another person in the group. I feel like the mother, the son, don't matter that it's a little one, but this is the mother and I feel like this is the son and it's somebody else, another mature man that's associated with this person right here and she's worried about what this person is going to say because this person has honor, integrity, ethics, I say. Release. Release. 34-42. Release this person. Work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you. This lady don't serve you. She don't like you. She running cover for her son. 
and she knows something that they done did, that he done done, that they did. And she's concerned that the other person gonna tell it. It's safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms and receive and be a conduit for the good coming to you through you as it blesses the world. Be a conduit for the most high God to use you, to bless you. It says um, coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. Allow the most high God to use you, to be a conduit, surrender your vessel onto it for use. Be obedient to what it tells you to do and it's telling you to release this person. Ooh, employment change. Your career path is leading you to a higher direction. We saw that boat moving forward, distant horizons. Just saying. That bigger house, that bigger space, the space in which you live in is going to be like, I hear kingdom. Your spiritual space, something that you dream of. Look, with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passion, and life purpose, trust that these changes will help release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way, beloved. Anything else in here? No, I say. Where should we go? The little one? The bit? This one? Okay. We got like one, two, three, four, five kipper decks. We be wanting to make sure that they got that synchronicity. This dude right here. They concerned that this person going to squeal. They going to speak. They going to spill the beans. They going to tell it all, beloved. Anything else? Nope. Great fortune. It might have something to do with money. Yes. I mean, all right, all right, all right. Fo, fo, fo. Change, rebellion, guidance, justice, justice, truth, character, and love. This person right here may have been sent as a, 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 a sleeper agent. You know, they in a camp. But them being in their camp going to help you. Kind of like old dude where it seemed like he was putting something down on you that you didn't really want. Like they was acting in a way that was against you. But at the end of the day, it was something that protected you. Growth, creativity, joy, community, vision, and talents. You being transformed. Focus on the good, beloved. Anything else out of here? No. Shuffle? No. Put that down. Anything else? Yes. I am my own unique self. Yes, you are. We do unique. You a piece of the universe, beloved. But we are all connected. We are grand cosmic mind. It's a grand cosmic plan. And if you are chosen, you're going to go through it. It ain't no peaches and cream like how those be trying to make it seem. Oh, no. We iron sharpens iron. You're going to go through some things, Okay. It could be the person laying next to you. It could be children. It could be parents. It could be uh, people on your job. And seem like one thing after another thing after another thing. You are always being prepared. You are always being sharpened. You are always facing something. And it is good to give those residual energies, all of those experiences up onto the most high God, putting them in the God box, asking the most high to receive them, to offer it up. I give it up onto you gladly, joyfully, with a joyful heart do I give it up. I may not feel good about what I'm feeling, but I know it's for my good and I can focus on the good. Every habit and pattern I create serves me in some way. When I am ready to let it go, the universe helps me release it. What was we just saying, beloved? You have the power to make change. You have the power to make change. Somebody not holding on to their power. They not. It is my birthright to express myself in ways that are fulfilling to me. That could be a part of your life purpose to express yourself, to give testimony. I express myself freely, who I am. It is my birthright to express myself in ways that are fulfilling to me. That is in your future. You will do it. In the meantime, I take a nice deep breath and release all resistance to healing.
lace it. I listen to my body with love messages. I listen to my body. Listen with love to my body's messages. I listen to, with love to my body's messages. And my business is prosperous. We just said career change and somebody's going to be prosperous. I rejoice in other people's success because I know that there is plenty for everyone. It is. You don't need to be selfish. You don't need to be hoard. That's why right here is coming for you. Great fortune. Moving forward, we saw employment change, something that is going to come into you, I think, to support you, to help you. Your heart's desires, what you are calling in, to stay in a positive 4101. Stay in that positive. Release what no longer serves you. Hold your honor against people that come against you. Anything else, beloved? No. That's what we have for you guys on the rising message today. It was 11 16 2023. But again, when you get this message, it's still good for now. We they don't expire, beloved. They just don't. So um know this. We love you. We love you. We love you just like we love the Alpha and Omega. Yes, that which called us and gave us our decrees to be the living word in this day, resurrect and it breathes. I be connected to thee as we are connected to all things through the grand cosmic source, the source of all things, of all of creation, called by its word, moving on its breath. Yes, we are creation, the only begotten. The only begotten. Yes. I love you. For we are whole and we are complete. There's nothing broken and there's nothing missing. You're going through some things, iron sharpens iron. We focus on the good, for it is good that thee was conflicted, afflicted, that you've been through some shit to prepare you, to give you the tools to do what you are called to do, and you're going to need it. To the next now. Ashe.